Well, my mom's meant everything to me in my basketball career. For the best basketball mom out there. She always pushed me um, to my limits. Um, she was my coach growing up. She always expected the most out of me, and if I wasn't giving her my all, she definitely brought it out of me. My mom was my basketball coach growing up, up until I got to high school. She's been everything. Um, she's the one who put a ball in my hands. I mean, I see baby pictures and I have a basketball in my crib. She's been in the gym with me uh, since I was little, taking me and Trey uh, to the gym when we were younger. She's a competitor. She's fiery, some would say. She knows the game at a very high level. I mean, she was pregnant with my brother playing in the men's league still, so coaching us. She was always wanting the most out of us because she wanted to win just as bad as we did. You know, you don't always have um, female coaches coaching you know, boys basketball. Sometimes that would, you know, rub dads or coaches the wrong way, and then it would rub them the wrong way even more when she knew what she was talking about. I love the game of basketball. From the very beginning, you know, coaching the kids in the, you know, low YMCA league and all the way up through traveling until they had to go um, to high school. They wanted to be in the gym as much as I wanted to be in the gym and wanted them to be in the gym. So we couldn't be in the gym enough and they have embraced me being, you know, a part of it. Basketball has, you know, brought us close to so many wonderful people and so many wonderful places and it's just been truly special for all of us. The Jones family is, I, I think, part of our family and we're part of their family. They welcomed us with open arms and have always been completely honest and supportive. Their sons were well trained before we ever got them. It starts with Debbie Jones. She and her sister Darcy form a, an unbelievable pair. They know the game, they've coached the game, they played the game, they want their sons to be coached hard with love and support. They became my family away from my own. Miss Debbie was always there, hugged me every single game, um, and was so nice to me. I love them and I tell them all the time that I appreciate them. Debbie in particular, especially in her fight uh, with cancer and become a cancer survivor, during that whole period, it was always about her boys. I should say, always about her men. The thing I admire the most about my mom is just the love that she has for uh, me and my brothers and, and my entire family, really. Um, I mean, she, she puts us first, even before herself. She's been through a lot um, in her life. She's been the, the rock for our family. Just someone that, you know, never shows any signs of weakness. It probably goes back to my childhood. Like I have scoliosis, I spent 10 years in a body brace, I had back surgery in high school, and okay, this is what I was dealt with. I'm going to attack it and make the best out of every situation. That's kind of what I expect my kids to do as well. And if that makes me strong, then I guess that's a good thing. Seeing my mom receive all the support, that means a lot to her, but it means a lot to all of us. So many people have her back in, in a tough time like that. You know, Coach K, he encouraged me to be public with it. And once that happened, the, you know, the embrace of everybody here in particular has been just fantastic. The love and support that everybody has given her much deserved because she would do the same for anybody else as she already does. The prayers and the well wishes, it's just been really, really special to know that people really do care that much. Usually the adversity for myself isn't isn't nearly as big as hers was. It might be off of a loss, it might be off of a um, bad performance. That's when I'm able to think about what, what she's gone through and the strength she shows and how she always had a good attitude through it all, no matter what, and I mean, it led to a, a great outcome. Jones, this is it, long rebound to Hurt. Now Jones, Jones with one, Jones puts it up at the buzzer, yes! He ties the game! What was going through your mind as you took over? Tyre Stones. He's been in the same moment before. He did greater things than that. Shout out Big Bro. I know he's watching back home. Yes, sir! The Stones toughness has changed. I'm with my mom stepping up, at least heading the bar high. Well, it's something that's been instilled with them, no question, in their life. When the lights are the brightest, the stage is the biggest, that's when Tyus and Trey are at their best. Same goes for their mom. You know, the battle that she's fought and her approach. And if you watch her during games, I mean, she yells louder than we do as coaches sometimes. I mean, she's she she's a fighter. And so there's no question they get that from her. In those late game moments, my mind goes back to all the hard work that 
I've put in, my brothers put in, preparing for those moments really on the biggest stage um, in a close game at, at the end of the game. There's nothing left to be done but to go out there and just give it your all. It's just kind of natural. As much of a, a cop-out answer that is, I just think it's, it's natural just because um, it's not something you can do or train for. You either have it or you don't. You know, we want, we want the pressure on us and I just think we, we kind of want those moments. I think the Jones family was uh, put on earth for big moments. Part of it is they, I don't think they ever feel alone or they ever think about failure. I seen their bloodline. They were cut from the same cloth that I'm cut from. I joke around with them all the time and say that I went to Duke as well. Trey Tyus, uh, they work relentlessly at their craft. A stone bros kind of is something that you just are born with it and they embrace it. They step up in, in every moment and just do what they do. The Final Four's most outstanding player, Tyus Jones, or Tyus Stones. <laughs> They're two of the most intelligent players I've had an opportunity to coach. They just know how to win. And especially in critical moments of a game, sets them apart. I think I'm most proud that they are just really, really good people. They're kind, they're caring, they're generous. Obviously the stuff on the court speaks for itself, but if, if you know them as people, they're just really, really good people. She continues to push us to become better, um, to strive for, for more, to try to you know reach the next level. I watch Trey every chance that I get. I love his game. He's definitely gonna be in our league um, really soon and he's gonna be playing at the same level he is there up here. The San Antonio Spurs select Trey Jones from Duke University. Well, I'm extremely proud of him just because I know the, the work that he's put in um, you know, for these moments. It's a lot of fun uh, for me to see him living out you know, his dream, you know, supporting him and, and along for the ride. When you put in the time and the effort and see the rewards, so satisfying. You know, everything they have wanted and were willing to work for and sacrifice has come true. It's just so fun to be a part of that process and a part of that journey. They would get up early in the mornings, I'd be up early in the morning. They would be, you know, going at it late at night, I'd be in the gym late at night. So, so it was like really a group effort. So knowing that I was there for every depth of it and every piece of it and had my part in it, it's all the more satisfying for me. So, but I couldn't be more proud of them and, you know, all they're doing and what they continue to do. Tyus Stones. Trey Stones. The Joneses. The Joneses. The Joneses.